Hi everyone, this is Tony Colangelo here, and I'm gonna do this video here as a follow-up to a post that I wrote on photographyforrealestate.net recently, uh, entitled, The Case for Delivering Diptychs to Our Clients. Uh, I hope you'll read it. Uh, the purpose of the article was to present what I hope was a compelling case for the use of diptychs and offering diptychs to our real estate agent clients. Um, and to do so as a workaround for those agents who won't allow images shot in vertical or portrait orientation to be part of the MLS photos because their MLS portal um, is designed to show pictures best in horizontal or landscape orientation. And the purpose of the article, as you can see by the diptych in the bottom right corner here, was that when you put a couple of vertical oriented, uh, vertically oriented images together in a diptych, uh, it'll be very close to the landscape orientation, the three by two aspect ratio uh, used by MLS. Uh, since writing the article, I've been very pleased to hear from a number of people actually wanting to know uh, how to put a diptych together. So I thought I would put together this uh, quick little video to show uh, how to do that. All right, so let's go into Photoshop. And these are the images that I used uh, in the article. Uh, we see this one here and this one here. So to make the space to position one photo beside the other, I'll need to add canvas. And to figure out how much canvas um, I'll need, let's take a look at the dimensions of this particular photo. So of course, to take a look at the dimensions, we do Control-Alt-I or Command-Option-I on a Mac. And as we see here, the width is about, 11.3 uh, by 13.7, so I'm making notes of those exact dimensions, uh, and in particular, the, the height. I want to make sure that both images are at the same height, so I'm making note of the height here as being 13.733 inches. We'll click Cancel, and we'll go to the other image, and we'll do Control-Alt-I or Command-Option-I, and we see that the height is different. So I'll change this to 13.733 to match the other one. We'll click OK, and there we have it. So we are going to do uh, Control-A or Command-A to copy it, uh, to select all of it, I mean, and then Command or Control-C to copy it so that, uh, that we have that handy for when we're ready to place it alongside the other photo. So here we go, we're back to the photo that I want to position on the left. And in order to add canvas, we go to the navigation bar here on the top left. We'll go image, canvas size, and then we see this window. Uh, three things I want to highlight. First is the dimensions that we've just seen. Uh, second is the, the canvas color. This is really important because this will be uh, this will give you uh, the color that the canvas uh, that will be used for your diptych. And the reason why this is important is that you want the, the canvas color to match the background color on your website. So if your website is black, we'll go through the scroll down, click on black, and you'll be set. Uh, there will be essentially a black bar in between the two photos uh, in your diptych. Because my website is um, rooted in white, has a white background, uh, I've selected white as the color. Uh, the most important element here are these uh, anchor arrows. And this is the default setting within Photoshop. And essentially Photoshop is saying, okay, if you wanna add canvas, as of now, you can add canvas all the way around your photo because the arrows are pointing in all possible directions. So if we wanted to add canvas all around, we would have to add to the width and height. So let's just add, to show you what I mean, let's just add an inch uh, to the width. Let's go from 11 to 12 and an inch to the height. We'll go from 13 to 14. We'll click OK and there you have it. We have our ca uh, canvas all the way around. 
In a diptych, um, I don't think we need to add canvas top and bottom. Uh, we just want it off to one side. So let's do Command or Control Z or Z as we say up here in Canada. Um, and let's say we just want the canvas over to one side. So again, let's go to image canvas size and there we have our anchor arrows. So we want, now here for this particular diptych, I know that I wanted uh, the image to go on the right of this, uh, the, the other image, I'm sorry, the other image to go to the right of this image. So in order to give myself that space, uh, in order to uh, put the canvas over on the right, Photoshop has us um, click the arrows on the left, interestingly enough, because when you do, when you click this arrow right here, we're telling Photoshop that we do not want the, the left facing arrows, we want to go right. And as you can see, Photoshop has added three empty squares here, and these three empty squares represent a uh, blank canvas. All right, so the question becomes, how much canvas do we want on the right? Typically what I do is, well, I'll double this width if I know absolutely for a fact that um, I want the other photo to go on the right. Uh, I will make a note of the, the width of the other photo and uh, just add it to this number here. So let's say that the other photo was around 11 inches. So I'll turn this, let's double it and maybe a little bit more, let's turn it to 23 inches and we'll click OK and there we have our canvas. Now we've already selected the other photo. We've uh, uh, made sure that the dimensions of that photo in regard to height are the sa is the same as the height of this photo. So if we do Command or Control V, there's our photo right there. We take our selection tool here top left, and what I do here is I position it exactly to touch the other photo. And what I do then is for me, to my eye, I like using just a thin ribbon uh, of white uh, in between photos. I don't want to put a, a thick uh, ribbon of white uh, because I, I want them to appear uh, a little bit more connected. So I'll just hit the, the right arrow uh, about eight or nine times, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, and that's typically the width that I like for my diptychs. I think that shows up really nicely on my white background website. So in order to change this image taken collectively, these two images take, taken collectively as one, to make sure that it fits the three by two aspect ratio on MLS, now we just simply go into the crop tool. All right, we put our ratio as three by two. We hit enter to lock it in. And then we can move it around and, you know, as we see fit. So for me, I think it's right about there. We click OK, and there's our diptych, uh, just the way that I had it in the article. All right. Now, if you're not sure if you want to place it, uh, either on the left or the right side, you would like to see how that looks, then you would add canvas to both sides. So let me show you what I mean by that. If we do Control or Command Z um, a few times to go back here just to our original photo, we're going to go to Image, Canvas Size, and now we want canvas on both sides. Okay, so we're not going to touch any of these arrows, but once again, we are going to add to the width. And because we want it on both sides, rather than doubling this the way that I did last time, rather than doubling the width, I'm going to triple it. Okay, so I'm going to go to 33, and that tells Photoshop to put in 33 inches of canvas across. Um, 
bo both left and right, sorry, both left and right. And if we do control or command zero to show it on the entire screen, you can see how much canvas exactly has been added. Once again, we still have that other photo saved. So if we do command or control V, it shows up again. And now using the uh, select tool, we can fiddle around with it to see if we like it either on the left side or on the right side. And we can use our creativity, our creative instincts to make that decision. For, for me, I personally liked it on the right. Um, I just found that, that, that it, if it was on the left, it just looked kind of odd to me. And I can't explain why. It was just a gut feel. So I placed it on the left, uh, on the right, sorry. I moved it over to make sure that both edges touched. And then I moved it over the, the eight or nine spaces to get the, the spacing that I liked. And then from here, you would crop again. So that's it. That's how I do a, um, a diptych. I hope this has been useful and uh, I'm wishing you good luck in submitting diptychs to your real estate agent clients. Okay, take care, be well.